and I hope you're all doing well today and that you're having a fantastic week. I just got home from work and I am going to film my Sephora and Ulta haul. It's going to be a longer video because I went on a trip to the States for my birthday at the end of November with some sales and coupons because of Black Friday so I picked up a lot of beauty products so I'm really excited to share what I got with you guys and I also have a little giveaway I picked up a few goodies for you guys so stay tuned for that I will explain all the rules and all the things and show you what I got for you guys at the end of this video so if you're interested in seeing what I picked up then please keep watching so the first thing I was eyeing uh, which is an Ulta exclusive and we don't, we don't have Ulta here in Canada we just have a Sephora um, was the Tarte High Performance Naturals Sweet Dreams palette and this is the, what is it called here? It's the Away We Go palette. I really wanted this, I saw it online and it comes with 16 clay eyeshadows, 4 Amazonian clay blushes, 3 deluxe maracuja lip glosses, 1 deluxe size camera lashes, 4 in 1 mascara and the portable compact. I have the one from last year and I actually love the fact that you can exchange the palettes and have it travel friendly. So I decided to pick that palette up. It was $48 and it's a $410 retail value. So that's a great deal and you get a lot, of a lot for your money in here. So this is what the palette looks like. It's very adorable. It comes with this portable palette. You have your three lip glosses, your mascara, and then down here are the 16 eyeshadows and four uh, blushes. And I love Tarte blushes. Uh, they're one of my favorite. They're super long lasting. They're very pigmented. They slide really uh, smoothly on the skin. So here's a close up of what the portable palette looks like. The three lip glosses, the mascara, and then the eyeshadows and the blushes. And I just love this because it's a very neutral palette and that's what I wear a lot. It has some dark shades in there, some lighter shades, some shimmer, some matte, so that you can do a lot of um, different styles and looks with this. And the blushes are right up my alley. Nice neutral pinky blushes, so very, very happy I got this palette. thing I actually got is another um, palette, eyeshadow palette this time, and it's from Lorac, and this also was exclusive to Ulta, and again, we don't have Ulta in Canada. This is $38, and it was a $305 value, so again, really good. You get four palettes with four eyeshadows each, um, neutral, darker shades, and a few pop of colors, but not much. So again, I love that this is a neutral, more based collection. And I think this is called the, yeah, the Lorac The Royal Eyeshadow Collection. So really good deal again, and uh, I posted a picture of this on my Instagram asking you guys what your thoughts were on it, and a lot of them were positive. I actually haven't played with them yet, so I'm really happy to have filmed this video and I'm going to start using them. So um, if you guys have tried this, leave me a comment down below letting me know what you think of these eyeshadows. But just to give you a glimpse, I think my favorite is the Lorac Princess palette because it's very neutral. You have a nice light um, white cream highlighter shade. You have your gold shade, another brown bronze shade, and a darker one here. So very pretty. You could do a beautiful eye look with this. And I love that these are like shimmery shades coming up for the holidays. So very, very nice. Oh, I have a little guest here who wants to say hi. Come here, bellies. My little cat Belle, so I know some of you guys have heard her meow in my other videos, but this is her, she's very cute, very playful, Oh, <laughs> say hi Belle. So the next thing I picked up are some of my staple uh, makeup items, and the first one is the Laura Mercier Smooth Finish Foundation Powder. So I love this powder, it comes in a little compact like this, I've been using it. You have your powder and your little um, sponge at the bottom, and I do apply it with this. And sometimes I use my Real Technique buffing uh, brush also on my skin, but I love this powder. I have dry skin, it doesn't cling to dry patches or anything. It lasts a long time on the skin, it goes on really smoothly, it feels like you don't have anything on, and so I really love this. And I also got a um, 
my NARS Pro Prime Eyeshadow Proof Base. Uh, this is one of my favorite eyeshadow bases. I've tried a lot of them. I've tried Lorac, Too Faced. I've tried a lot of eyeshadow bases, and this is the one that works really well for me. It just makes my eyeshadow last long, last pretty much all day. I work 8 to 4, and it lasts all day on my eyes. Um, it helps, like make the eyeshadow not crease and make the, the colors more vibrant also so I love this. Another thing I picked up at Sephora is the Creme de Rose um, Smoothing Plumping Lip Balm and I had this once, I tried it, it was a recommendation from Kelly on uh, here on YouTube and I decided to pick it up and I fell in love with it but it is expensive, I think it's around $30 in Canada and I am really in love with my Jack Black Lip Balm, that's the one I use all the time but I thought I would treat myself to it because I got a $25, um, $25 coupon, if you spent $50, you got $25 off if you're a VIB Rouge, so I thought I would get it, so basically I got it for free. And it looks like this, it is 7.2 grams, so you get a lot in here. It looks like this, it's pink and it smells really like roses. Also picked up the Dior Skin Star Foundation. So. I wanted to try this, but they've been out of the lighter shades at my local Sephora for a while now, and when I went uh, in the States, they had number 10, and that was the shade that worked for me. I've used this twice with my Beauty Blender, and I really love it. I usually stick to powder foundations, but this one just feels really weightless, it goes on really smoothly, you don't need a lot, it's the perfect coverage for me, I would say it's a light to medium coverage, and it just makes your skin look so more, so much more vibrant and bright and just beautiful so I really love this and I'm gonna give it a try with other brushes but right now I've used the Beauty Blender with it and I've been loving it. Also for a birthday gift I got this NARS blush and this is in the color um, Almeria and I really love this color. It looks kind of intimidating in the pan, it looks dark but it's a beautiful mauve pinky color and I saw it on uh, Flower Bomb from Natalie, she showed it and it's really adorable. The packaging looks like this very holiday and this is what the blush looks like so here's the packaging really cute and then the blush Amaria so it looks really intimidating in the pan but I've worn it if you you use a light brush like a real techniques brush and you just buff it out and it looks really pretty on the cheeks so I've been loving this really happy I got this as a gift. And then I picked up at Ulta my favorite uh, dry shampoo from Batiste and it's the one that has the hint of brown in it. I just love this because it doesn't leave a white cast on my hair and it really does just give me volume, refreshes my hair and this is one of my favorites so I picked this one up. And now for the giveaway I picked up a lot of Deborah Lippmann nail polishes. You know how I like my nail polishes and I love Deborah Lippmann polishes and when I went to Ulta, usually in Canada, they're about $22 to $24 and they had a section in Ulta with a ton of them and they were marked at $5.99. I was like, wow, that's an incredible deal. And then I got to the cash register and were, some of them were $2.49 and some of them were $2.99. And I could not believe it, so I picked up a ton. I'm going to show you guys which one I picked up, and I picked some for you guys also. So let's just get started, because I got a lot. So the first one I picked up, I've always wanted. It's called Some Enchanted Evening, and it's a beautiful pink with large uh, pink flakes and glitter in it. And it's very beautiful. I won't open all of these, because it would take a while. The next one I picked up is this one, and I've wanted for a while now. It's called Glitter and Be Gay. And it's a gold base and has like gold glitter and blue and silver and I think this would look perfect for the holiday season and a New Year's Eve party. So that's what I'm planning on putting on my nails. I think gold looks really beautiful. So I got that one. And I love Deborah Lippmann glitter nail polishes. She makes the best ones. So that's mostly what I picked up. I also got this gold one which is called Boom Boom Pow and it says it contains 24 karat gold. It's literally a beautiful gold base with gold glitter. Very, very gorgeous. I picked up this one which is called Today Was a Fairy Tale and it says it contains virgin diamond powder. And this is like a blue gray with a lot of blue gray glitter inside. So very, very pretty again. I also got this one that I've wanted for a while. It's called Glitter in the Air and they had a dupe of this. Revlon made a dupe of it and I bought it. but. This was two bucks, so I thought I would grab it anyways. It's a blue base, and it has blue and pink glitters in it, so very cute. 
And I also got this one. This is called Whip It, and this is a bright fuchsia pink. So I thought that would look beautiful on the nails. And then I also got two more cream bases. I got this one called Maniac, and this is like a purple, I'd say medium purple color. And this one is a, like a darker blue purple, and this is called I Know What Boys Like. So again, you can see here, they've been marked down to $4.99, and then they went down again to $2.49. So amazing deal. I could not, I, I could not just handle it. When I was there and I saw that, I could not. <laughs> Anyways, so I got also two nail treatments. I got the On A Clear Day High Gloss Top Coat and the Rehydrating Base Coat. I always wear a base and a, and a top coat on my nails. So I got these two. These two were on sale also. And then I got this beautiful one from Zoya, which also was $2.50 instead of $9. And this is called Monet. And this is so pretty. I saw it in stores and I was like, mm, I don't want to pay that much. But when I saw that it was on the clear rack, I had to grab it. So it's like a nice um, jelly light pink and it has like this iridescent just a whole bunch of glitter so I think that would be beautiful as an accent nail or just all over your nails again for the holiday or anytime even spring I think this would look really cute so I picked up three nail polishes for you guys well the ones I picked up are Some Enchanted Evening the beautiful pink um, base one I also got Glitter and Be Gay and I also got Stronger, which um, was created by Kelly Clarkson, and that is actually one of my favorite nail polishes. I have it in a couple of favorites video and in my Deborah Lippmann nail polish collection video, so I'll link those below if you want to check it out. But this is such a beautiful color, I think I have to take it out just to show you guys. I don't know if you can tell here, it doesn't seem to be quite focused, but it's a blue base and has a ton of glitter in here. It's absolutely stunning. So I picked that one for you guys because it is my favorite Deborah Lippmann nail polish. And then these are the two other ones that you will be receiving. This is Some Enchanted Evening and this is Glitter and Be Gay. So beautiful, beautiful glitters, perfect for the holidays. So I'm not sure if I'm going to send um, three different ones to three different per person or I'm going to send it to all one person. I'm not sure yet. I'll decide that later. But the giveaway will last till December 31st, 2014. So about two weeks from now, I will pick a winner or three winners and I'll send these to you guys. I'll send you an email and you can just send me your address. I just wanted to get a little something for you guys just to show that I really, really, truly appreciate each and every one of you. You guys are always so kind and leave the beautifulest and loveliest comments on my videos and I just love all of you guys. So thank you so much for your support and for this I wanted to get a little something for you guys. So all you have to do is just leave me a comment down below letting me know what you love to do and what traditions you do during the holiday season with your family, with your friends, what you look forward to when it's the holiday season. So just leave me a comment down below with that. And also follow me on Instagram at beautybymelaniezero and be subscribed to my channel. And in two weeks I'll pick a winner and I'll send those for you guys. But I'll leave all the rules and things down below. So make sure you check that if you enter this giveaway. So I'm so happy that I got to share all of these things with you guys. I hope you're all doing well. I've been really busy and I'm also moving on January 1st to a new home so I'm very excited for that. I'll have a new a filming location but I'll fill you all in when the time comes. So um, I hope you all enjoyed this video. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Follow me on Instagram and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys!